is up guys today we are going to start learning Java FX which is a graphical user interface library for Java obviously and for this series I'm gonna assume that you guys have a basic knowledge of Java just some basic inheritance object instantiation making variables all the kinda of standard programming stuff like that um, so we're going to kind of just dive into it and learn how to make some cool graphical applications, which are always fun. Um, to start, we're going to want to go to the Eclipse Marketplace, assuming that you guys are using Eclipse. Otherwise, you can download it somewhere online. But um, if you type in JavaFX here, and then download this, this will allow you to use JavaFX in your projects. JavaFX actually is now a part of the Java development kit um, however if you are using Eclipse it hasn't actually updated yet to the point where you have it automatically in your project so you're still gonna have to go and download that stuff but anyway after you've done that let's sort of jump into it so to get started for making a JavaFX application we are going to extend application now this JavaFX application class is pretty much your standard way of getting into the API and this application class is actually an abstract class with one abstract method being the start method. So you guys can see here public void start it passes in a stage instance which I will go over what a stage is in a second here but this is pretty much going to be the entry point of our application so how it's actually going to work is we're going to have a main method just like any other normal program that has a starting point would um, and in that main method we're going to say launch args it's not too important that you know exactly what this line does but just know that when you call launch which is a method inside of the application class it will um, pretty much uh, construct an initial stage for you to use and then pass it into the start method and your code will start here for actually making the window um, so let's sort of go into learning the hierarchy of JavaFX so this um, image is probably not the nicest or most aesthetically pleasing image you have seen before but I think it should get the job done. So at the very top level of the hierarchy, we have a stage. When you open up the window, you pretty much, the main thing you see is this, the stage. The outermost layer is the stage. And for those of you that are familiar with Swing, this is pretty comparable to the J-frame. Um, and, and just as a side note, JavaFX is really pretty much intended to replace swing it is sort of the more modern uh, GUI library to use anyway uh, one level under the stage is the scene so the scene you can think of as pretty much the graphical context for your stage it's what you're actually going to be looking at so if I have a stage and I make two different scenes if I switch scenes I can kind of easily see two different images um, so we'll go into more depth with that later but now let's go on to groups which is the level below scenes so a group is also sometimes known as a parent and it's pretty much an object that contains a list of what's called nodes which we'll go into but all that's important to know about a group is that a group can contain other groups which can contain nodes so you can sort of see here so we have a stage we put a scene in that stage we put a group in that scene then we can have other groups in that group or we can just directly put nodes into that group so now going into nodes a node is pretty much any sort of part of the application in the window that you can interact with like a a button or a label or a checkbox or a text area any sort of cool stuff like that those are those are all your nodes so we can put to, we can make let's say an application that has three nodes let's say we make a button and two labels we can put those inside of a group then put that group inside of the scene and then put that scene inside of the stage so that's sort of the hierarchy of how this works so let's actually get a first glimpse of how that looks in code so if I make so we're gonna start at the bottom and then work our way up so if I make a button 
which is a node and we will have the the argument that you pass into the button constructor is whatever you want the button to say so we'll say press me let's import our button from scene not the abstract windows toolkit now we're gonna make a group object so I'm just gonna call it group G equals new group and so here's a syntax you're not uh, or you may not be used to but to add a node to a group what we're gonna do is we're gonna say G get children which is gonna return to us a list of that groups nodes and then we're gonna say dot add and this takes in a node and we're gonna pass it in B which is our button then we're gonna make an instance of the scene because as you can see here we got a node then we have a group. Now we're going to continue to go up the hierarchy by making a scene. So scene scene equals new scene. The constructor for a scene takes in a group object. So we're going to pass it in G. Another way to do this is actually to go ahead and call scene.set root. And so this scene is, or I'm sorry, this group that we pass into the scene is known as the root group or the root parent because it's gonna pretty much hold any other groups that we put within it or any other nodes that we put within it so you can sort of see how we're really starting to form the hierarchy and then we don't actually have to make an instance of the stage because like I said it, the uh, launch variable will construct a, or I'm sorry the launch method will construct a stage and then pass it into us so I'm actually gonna rename this stage just because I don't like it being called primary stage and so we are gonna say stage dot set scene so the set scene method takes in its scene object and now the scene that we pass in here is now the graphical context for this stage and then as a last step, we just say stage.show, which is a void method, which just, um, for those of you that are familiar with swing, that's pretty much the same as the same thing as saying like jframe dot um, set visible and then uh, true. I hope that didn't confuse anyone. That's just sort of the syntax for uh, for swing. But anyway, so now if we run this application, we get a window with a button that says press me of course nothing actually happens when we press it we will go into that within the next few tutorials but anyway yeah that is the basics of how to make a window appear in JavaFX another thing you'll notice that this window is really small which will go into how to change that in the future but yeah for now that's about it see you later guys